Hey everyone, Dave here from Trust Studios. And today I'm outside and I'm gonna take a couple of pictures because I wanna show you guys how to use Snapseed to do double exposures. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple of pictures and then we'll import them into uh, Snapseed and then we'll do a double exposure. Now Snapseed doesn't allow you to do everything that you would do in an, uh, like a, a desktop editor but it does allow you to do some some nice uh, double exposures and so I'm going to show you guys first how to do it with Snapseed and then in future videos I'll be showing you how to do uh, other ways like we have in-camera ways of doing it and we also have you know in a regular video editor um, like or photo editor like paint.net so I'll, I'll show you guys a few different ways and some of the samples of different multiple exposure shots that I've done. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay guys, before we go into Snapseed and, and do a, a multiple exposure image, we're going to go into my Flickr and I'm gonna show you some of the um, multiple exposure shots I did. And um, I'll tell you which ones were done with Snapseed. Uh, this one was a Snapseed um, done in Snapseed with two images I took with the phone. Um, and just, uh, yeah, and then there's different, after you put the images together, you can put different filters and effects on them. This was another one done in Snapseed. And this was a picture of outside my house in the yard and inside my house um, combined. And I just did this one last night. Um, so, you know, I'll take, I have a couple pictures and we'll go in and we'll, we'll see what we can do, but I'm, showing you some of these examples because they're different you know different things you can do now um this one was this one was done in the computer with paint.net this one was done on snapseed on the phone and um i think that's three three images two pictures were pictures of me and then there was one where you see that that texture like that v pattern that was a towel that i took a picture of so um, you know, you can take pictures of sometimes uninteresting things and then layer them in, and, and it's interesting. This one's got a real surreal look to it. Um, this was a couple of images of my wood stove and a plant and uh, my kitchen combined. So that might have been three images, I think. Um, yeah, kind of weird, but uh, interesting. Here's one that was... Um, done on the computer some of it was um one of them was i think a photo of mine and some of them were photos that i've got online you can use pixabay or uh, other um online sites where you can download royalty free images and um, use some of those as well or just take your own pictures this was a scan of my hand combined with a, a photograph of some flowers that i took and this one I know was done on Snapseed, um, picture of me in the reflection and then a picture of the woods. And I combined the two images in Snapseed. Um, this one was done on a um, on the computer in paint.net. This one was done on the computer, paint.net. And this one was done on the computer. And this one. And the tree wouldn't obviously be that big. So that was... Um, kind of surrealist. The, the tree was actually up in the foreground here and I just took a, 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 an image of that really close up and then I overlaid it with the with the farm. So it's a lot of fun to experiment with. You never know what you're going to come up with and um, yeah so let's go over and uh, we'll open up I took a couple of images today with the phone and, um, you know, I don't know how they're going to layer together, but we'll, we'll pick something and we'll, um, we'll work on something and see what happens. And at least you guys will get to see, um, how we do that. So let's get out of here and now we'll go into Snapseed. Okay guys, so let's go in and open up Snapseed. This is Snapseed right here up in the upper right hand upper left hand corner with the little green leaf and I've already loaded in an image in there and um, so this is one image that I took this morning to put in here and now we'll have to go and pick another 
uh, image for the layer. So what we want to do first is go into Tools, in the middle button, and then we can choose. Um, first, we can um, we could tune this image if we want. Let's tune the image. There's a little magic wand where it'll just kind of do it, do what it thinks it should. And then there's other filters and different parameters you can change yourself here. Well, let's just go with that for now. I just want to basically show you guys um, how this works. So we'll we'll check the check mark on the right hand corner that says yes, we're going to keep those changes. And now we'll go and we'll um, we'll go back into tools and we'll click double exposure. And so now we have the option to select another image to put on top of this down in the lower right hand corner, just from the, um, just in one from the X. So we choose the little picture add button, and then it brings us to our pictures that we can select and add to this image. So now we can keep in mind that we have this image, um, the angel image that we can see on there. And um, we could put, um, the flowers or the sky or any of these pictures or any of your pictures for that matter. Um, but I'm just going to stick to these because I've already um, loaded those into the um, be able to be selectable. Uh, so let's let's do it with this this mossy rock here. And now there's different ways that we can layer that. Now you can see how that is. We could move that around. But if we move that around, we're obviously going to be cropping our image in the end. And we can also shrink this layer and just lay it on top like that. Um, so there's all different things you could do. And But also I want to show you guys before we... Um, we'll just leave that full size for now. I want to show you the different settings that you can put to the layers. So if you click the middle button, the layers button, it will show you um, this is the default of how this layer is going to look. But you can also have lighten. So it lightens one of the layers. Darken. Darkens one of the layers. Add. Subtract. Overlay. Overlay is kind of interesting, but you almost lose that first image altogether. Um, let's go back to default. I think um, I think I like darken best. And I'm just doing this as an example to show you guys. So, you know, it, it may not be the best, most interesting thing I've ever done. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how this how this can work. Um, yeah, that's more interesting, but I'm going to crop a lot of it. I was hoping I could have not had it be black all around this, but still show some of the bottom image. And I'm not sure why that I can't do that on this, this image. It's all because I chose the darken probably. Um, let's see if I charge, if I go back to this one. Yeah, if I go back to this one, then I can then I can do this. And not everything is all black. I can see the layer underneath. So you can have it like a collage effect there. Or you could crop it to the, to the uh, exact size of the second layer. Let's go back out. We zoom it out, and then you have um, then you have filters that you could apply. So you can change the opacity of which layer is. Um, let's see, which layer is showing more? And there we can see that um, one of our layers is showing a little bit of black at the edge there. So we should drag this over. Okay, um, oh, so that was, um, okay, transparency. So that's that's kind of interesting. We can go, I guess it's right in the middle. But we can go anywhere we want. I think I like it about right there. 
And so guys, this is just a little demonstration. You know, it was nothing fantastic, but let's see, let's see if we can, we can also do even more than uh, two images. We can do, you know, we can do more. So let's um, go ahead in, do double exposure. Um, we'll do it again. And this time we'll try adding the blue sky. So I don't like it, so we just hit the X and it'll go back to what we had before. And then you can go into looks and we can we can um, try some of these filters. So it has a lot of really nice filters. It has a lot of uh, a lot of cool things to do. So you can try different things and until you um, you know finalize an export, you can keep changing it around and going back. Um, so this is the way we had it. This is the way it, my last edits were. Kind of like that better, I think. I don't know, maybe in the middle. Portrait. Let's go with this one. I like that. Just try pop. I'm going to go back to portrait, but I think then I want to lighten it up a little bit. So now I'm going to go to um, tools, tune image, and maybe brightness. And now we can raise this brightness up by just dragging this a little bit. So we'll go up to 10. And 14. Okay, guys. So basically that's it. And now we would say export and then it will save to our photos. So we wanna say export, and then there's different ways. We can save it that we can undo, we can save a copy with changes we can undo, or we can export with permanent changes. So let's save a copy with changes you can undo. No, let's, let's, do, um, let's do the export creates a copy. So we'll still have the original images that we, we had that we brought in, but we'll then have a picture of this image too. So we'll hit export, and this should be in our photos now. So if we go back and we go into our photos, we should be able to, to see that image. And so there it is. So guys, that's how you do it. And, um, you know, that's how you do it with Snapfish. And also don't forget to... Um, you know, check out Flickr because it's a pretty cool um, place to store photos. There's photo groups. Um, it's really nice. I, you know, I like having my photos on there and it's, my account is not very well organized, but you can see a lot of different photography and artwork of mine there. And I am, like I said, I'm Trust Studios on YouTube. I'm Trust Studios on eBay. I'm Trust Studios on Amazon, on Etsy, and um, all those places. So just to end, uh, and Flickr, of course. So take a look over at Flickr if you're interested in uh, photography. I have some video there, but uh, mostly uh, photography and photos of my artwork and stuff like that. And if there's interest in this, I'll show you guys how to do, you know, how to use paint.net um, to have even more um, creative abilities in double, multiple exposures. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Remember, take care of yourself and take, take care of each other, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.